so here I am going to start with 805 and some of its features so let us start with what is a microcontroller a microcontroller is a combination of various interfacing embedded on a single chip it can be programmed accordingly to perform various tasks now this is the basic block diagram of a microcontroller as you can see it has various interfacings with it like eProm that is 4 kilobyte of ROM it also has a RAM 128 bytes it has two timers one serial interfacing it has four ports it also has a control circuitry for crystal oscillator and it also has interrupts now these are some of the vendors of microcontroller the microcontroller we have various uh, we have microcontrollers of various companies in the market like intel motorola hitachi atmel toshiba etc now let us discuss some of the differences between microcontroller and microprocessor you might have heard about a microprocessor so what is the basic difference between them now you can see that a microcontroller has various points like it has CPU, it has RAM, ROM inbuilt, it also has some ports, it has timers, ADC and other interfaces and other interfacing in, uh, inbuilt in it. But if you talk if you talk about microprocessors, then it does not have any kind of RAM, ROM, in, input output port, etc. So you have to connect externally to the microprocessor. So we can say that microprocessor is same as a single CPU and microcontroller is like a whole computer in a single IC. This is the block diagram of microcontroller and a microprocessor. You can see in a, in a microprocessor you have to connect all the external devices but in a microcontroller everything is installed in, in it. These are some of the features of 805 microcontroller. It has 4 KB of ROM, it has 128 byte of RAM in, inbuilt in it, it has 4 register bank and each register bank has 8 register in it. That is, it has total of 32 bit general purpose register to store the data. It has 8 bit data bus, 16 bit address bus, it has 2 timers each of 16 bit, it has 3 interrupts externally and it has 2 external interrupts plus 3 internal interrupts. This is the basic pin diagram of 805 microcontroller. In this you can see it has 4 ports P0, P1, P2 and P3. All the 4 ports are bidirectional. On port 0 you have to connect external pull up registers as it do not have internally. On port 3 you can see some of the special functions of 805 and like serial interface, interrupts, timer, interrupts and read write operation if you want to connect an external memory. This is the basic circuit of crystal oscillator. You can connect a crystal oscillator ranging from 6 MHz to 24 MHz through a microcontroller. It provides the clock pulses to the microcontroller. And we are using crystal oscillator because it provides a stable frequency. We also have used C1 and C2 capacitors. These capacitors remove surge voltages or you can say repulses of the power supply. This is a crystal circuit as well as the reset circuit. If you want to reset the microcontroller then you have to connect a reset circuit also. Now here is the register bank. The memory, it has the memory which has four register bank. Bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. As I have told you earlier, all the banks have R0 to R7 register that is total of 32 bit, 32 registers are present each of 8 bits. And if you want to select a particular bank, then you have to configure PSW4 and PSW3. These are the bits of PSW register, which we will be seeing in the next slide. These are some of the special function registers of a 805N microcontroller. First, first is ACC, that is accumulator. This is the main register which we, which, you, which we use in arithmetic and logical operations. Register B is used for multiply and divide operations. PSW is program status word which carry various flags. SP is for stack pointer which 
con contains the address dptr is the 16 bit address which is used to fetch the data from the external memory ip is interrupt priority pcon is power control register to save the power t mode is mode register of timer and tcon is control register of a timer there are various other register also as i have already told you b register is used for basically for multiply and divide operations this is the psw register in this you can see the first bit is p that is the parity flag if the parity is 1 it will show set if the parity is it will show 1 if the parity is odd and it will show 0 if the parity is even ov stands for overflow flag if, if your data is overflowed then it will show a 1 on it rs0 and rsw is to select the register banks f0 is not used in this ac is auxiliary carry flag and cy is carry flag then we have dptr dptr stands for data pointer this is used to access the external data if you want to fetch external data from the external memory then we have to use dptr we cannot save the data in the accumulator and we have to use data pointer hence now 805 also has various interrupts it has six interrupt but we have not used reset as an interrupt because it is a reset circuit external we also have five other interrupts like timer interrupt 0 timer interrupt 1 interrupt 0 external interrupt 0 external interrupt 1 and the last one is serial interrupt you can also see various addresses of all the other interrupts so this is all for today and we will discuss in the next lecture how to interface various devices with the 805 thank you